up you guys, Jackie here, back at it again with another Best in LA, and today we are covering tacos. Now, before you get upset and say that your favorite taco place is not on this list, just know there is a taqueria on every single corner here in Los Angeles, so we could not just choose all of them. It is not possible for me to consume that many tacos in a day, even though I would try, but it's not possible. Today we're going to be rating these tacos on the three elements of a taco. That is the tortilla, the meat, and the toppings. Without further ado, let's go. So after um, we made fun of Nick's feet for all of the Delish family to see, <laughs> he gave me the boots. Now I'm filming by myself, and this is my setup, you guys. My tripod in a random alleyway by myself, and there's the taco truck way over there. And I picked probably the hottest day to film this video in Los Angeles. It's 100 degrees. I have to wait forever for the taco truck, but it's gonna be worth it because I know these tacos are gonna be good. So first up, we have Leo's Tacos. They have been around for nine years. They have eight taco trucks all around Los Angeles, and their El Pastor taco was dubbed the best in Los Angeles. Without further ado, the meat just looks super tender, and they also have the pineapple on top of this bit too that they just cut off slices and put right into your tacos. Let's give it a try. This is really good. Right off the bat, the meat is super tender and very flavorful. And the pineapple just adds this really nice, sweet and savory combination. I understand why they said that this is the best Al Pastor in Los Angeles. The flavors are popping, it's so good. It's like sweet, savory, it's all these like bursting flavors in your mouth. Man, that is some tender meat. I feel like we are definitely off to a great start. The tortillas actually just taste like something that you would get from a grocery store, so I'm not you know, blown away by it, but as far as the actual meat, full of flavor, the toppings added a really nice kick to it as well. It wasn't spicy, just added this rich flavor. Um, but I did also, I mean, the taco fell apart, and that's my least favorite thing is when you're eating it and it goes all over the place, so. If I were to rate this, I would have to give this a seven. I know that this is supposed to be the best El Pastor in Los Angeles, but honestly, it was I. It was all right, so I have to give it a seven out of 10. All right, on to the next one. I am here at Tacos y Barilla La Unica, and I just ordered my tacos, and they said that it's gonna be 30 minutes. This place is super popular. It's always packed out. I got here just in time. It closes at three and they tend to sell out really, really fast because people love it here. And by the look at these tacos, you guys, ugh, it was definitely worth the wait. They recommended that I do their Berea de Chevo, which is shredded goat. So before they even put it on their grill, they dip the tortilla in their consomme and then they grill it. So you can see that there's all this sauce that's grilled to perfection on the actual tortilla. So this is definitely a messy taco. You can't eat this and try to be like cute and clean. Definitely not a first date taco. And then you got your consomme, which is basically a broth that you're supposed to dip your taco in. So here we go. Oh my God, this taco. Is incredible. It's so freaking good. The meat just melts in your mouth. It is super tender. And then I know on a classic authentic taco, you're not supposed to do cheese, but I'm obsessed with cheese. But see, that just doesn't seem like enough cheese. I love cheese and I love tacos with cheese. And man, the cheese in there with the shredded goat is so good. And then the tortilla is sort of crispy, but also not crispy because you dip it in this juice. It's a combination between crunchy taco and soft taco, which I love. It's the best of both worlds, really. So this taco gives a rating of 10 out of 10. Look at me, I, I like inhaled this. I didn't even really chew. I got consume on my Nike shoes, and normally I'd be really upset about it, but that taco was worth it. The hospitality has been great. 
They gave me a free water and napkins. So nice. I am legit melting. My shirt says I'm here for the food, but I'm not here for the heat today in Los Angeles. We got the shrimp taco from Marisco Salisco's. It is a crispy taco, and they give you a whole slice of avocado, which I think is very generous and very nice. Comes with a lime and some hot sauce. It also comes with the sauce. I'm not quite sure what it is. It looks like there might be some fish or shrimp in there, but it's definitely a type of salsa. I already got my white Nike shoes dirty. I might as well just, whoa, okay. That's how you're supposed to do it. Let's dive in to this shrimp taco. We've covered it with the salsa. Already the tortilla is super crispy and hard. I know it's gonna be such a great Crunch, ready for this noise, ready for it. Zoom in, listen to this crunch. Oh. The taco straight came out of the fryer, so it's hot. So it's nice to have this cold salsa on top. And this shrimp is so delicious too. It's gonna be really weird when I say this, but Something about it reminds me of what's inside a pot pie. If you think of um, the texture of the pot pie and the flavor, there's a little bit of that mixed with the shrimp in here, which I love because in a pot pie, you have all that gooey gooeyness in the middle and then the outside, the crust. That's what I'm feeling, but for this shrimp taco. Don't ask me why. Mmm, nice fresh avocado. I love that they give that to you. One, two, three, this is my fourth taco. I'm not even full yet. I rate this shrimp taco a 10. I've never had a shrimp taco like this. I need to figure out what that secret sauce is on the inside because holy crap, I've never tasted that before. Really, really good. We are at our next spot. It is called Sonora Town and it is inspired by the food in Sonora, Mexico. I'm bent over because my tripod is not tall enough, but I'm really excited about these tacos. Right off the bat, they smell barbecue-y. You could tell that they put these on the grill and let them just char. You can see even on the vegetables that they've been on the grill, they smell smoky. I love that they make their tortillas in-house. When I touch these, they're so soft. Like this is an authentic taco from Sonora, Mexico. I just got the asada and pollo taco. I'm gonna go in for their asada. Already the meat just looks so tender and juicy. There's the hint of spice and it kicks you. The steak, super tender, very juicy full packed flavor. It is incredible. And these homemade tortillas are honestly like nothing I've ever had before. You can taste the history. You know what I'm saying? You can taste the culture. So let's go in for the chicken. The chicken taco doesn't have as much flavor as the steak. When you eat the steak, you just taste it. A bunch of flavors come out. The chicken is a little bland. I would have loved it with a little bit more seasoning. However, it is very moist and tender, but this steak one is 100% where it's at. I'm gonna rate the steak taco. Y'all are gonna hate me. I'm gonna give out another 10. 10 for the steak taco and the chicken one, honestly, the chicken gets a six. Whatever they seasoned um, the steak with, boom. This next place I went to is legit called the Tire Shop Taqueria, which is hilarious because it's just this taco shop outside of a tire shop. But it's really awesome. They have a really cool assembly line. I got an asada taco. The tortilla feels really soft and the meat just looks cooked to perfection. We have onions in here, cilantro, and then they put a big glop of guacamole on top of it. I love guacamole so much. Whoa, crazy! Ah! 
That has got a kick to it. My mouth is on fire. Oh my God. I really try to do spicy, but my palate just won't allow it. Ooh, okay. I really love how soft the tortilla is. It's not like a stale tortilla. They made it right there, fresh for you. The meat is cooked to perfection, really nice. Also, this is probably like my eighth taco for today. And I think I'm starting to feel a little full. <sighs> okay, let's see. No leftovers today though. I'm eating it all. Mm-hmm, mm. Adding that citrus made all the difference. The guac was a little bland, but once I put some lime on there, definitely made it so much better. This taco is really good. I love that it's a hole in the wall and not everybody knows about it. I would give this taco, honestly, a six. It didn't blow me away when I initially took a bite. It's an average tasting taco to me. I know that this is on the top of the list of some of the best tacos in LA. I'm sure that they have a lot of other great items on the menu, um, but as far as just an asada taco, it's not doing much for me. We've had better tacos today. got our tacos from Carnitas El Momo and the portions are so big. That is what I'm talking about. Green salsa. Oh, I poured a lot. And then they also give you a bunch of onions and cilantro and some limes. So we're gonna top that off too, but I'm gonna need both hands. Mm -hmm. This is so good. This is so good. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. This pork has so much flavor. Oh. You can taste the lard that they simmer the pork in, and also there's hints of saltiness to it as well. So it's just one of those tacos that you know you're really indulging in, and you need the two tortillas. Normally I hate having two tortillas, but you need it to hold in all that meat because they give you so much. This is dubbed the best carnitas taco in Los Angeles. And without a doubt, I agree. All of the meat is tender. You get all that flavor and saltiness. It is incredible. And just be ready to fully indulge when you come here. The tacos from Carnitas El Momo gets a 10 out of 10. Tortilla is great. It's soft. Meat is flavorful. The toppings add a nice kick to it because you get all of that like saltiness and it's nice to have those fresh, crunchy onions on top in the cilantro just to kind of break up all the fattiness that you're tasting. Apparently there's just going to be a lot of firsts for me because I've actually never had bone marrow. I don't know why I know it's a delicacy and uh, a lot of people love it. It freaks me out a little bit, not gonna lie. But there's always a first time for everything. Yep, I think that's what you're supposed to do. Oh God, Lord be with me. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. They're also known for their burrilla tacos, so that's what that's for. This doesn't look good to me, you guys. It's good. I can't get over the texture, honestly. I don't think it's a fair for me to rate this taco because I'm, I think I'm a little freaked out about the bone marrow. I'll dip it in their consume. Wow. Their consume is really tomatoey and salty. They actually help cut the bone marrow. It's a really great taco, but I just don't think it's for me. I'm gonna have to rate this a five just because it's not my cup of tea. So we're at Guisados Tacos and I ordered their mole taco. And then I also ordered their pescado taco. Right off the bat, it's looking real juicy, y'all. Real juicy and it's overflowing. They give you such a great portion. Also, the chicken looks incredible. It's shredded, you got that mole sauce on there. 
and then you have all these like tiny seeds in there. And then she asked me if I was allergic to peanuts, so there is peanuts in here. Um, so I'm kind of interested to see what that flavor is gonna taste like. I've never had a mole taco before in my entire life. The sauce is good, it's on point. Tasting that peanut. I wish that this had like a hint of spice. The meat is a little tough, honestly. I'm not a huge fan of this taco. And maybe it's, I don't like mole, I don't know. Mm. That's okay. Not a huge fan. The mole taco for me, I think it's a five out of 10. Let's try the pescado. They give you such a huge portion. It's a big chunk of fish. There's cabbage, tomatoes, cilantro, pico de gallo, basically. Oh, there's even black beans in here. I'm getting attacked by flies. Mm. Wow. Having black beans in the taco is really nice. We haven't had any beans in any of our tacos. Um, clearly, Gasados serves up different types of tacos. I like that they put the beans in there, honestly. And the cabbage adds a really nice crunch with the fish. And the pico de gallo adds um, that like refreshing flavor that you want in a taco. And they give you so much, it's like overflowing. But the, the tortilla is getting a little soggy, it's falling apart. Mmm. I give this pescado taco a six. They haven't been my favorite of the day. They might be a little forgettable. I mean, they're decent tacos. We had to come to Trejo's Tacos because what's more LA than a really incredible actor opening up a restaurant and it being successful? <laughs> so anyway, I am going to be trying his barbacoa taco today because we haven't had barbacoa yet. Mm. You have pico de gallo. You actually have tortilla chips in here. So you have this crunchiness of tortilla chips, which I am not mad about. The meat is shredded. There's a really nice sauce on there, and the tortilla has a good flavor as well. This taco is not too shabby, especially when you have a popular chain restaurant like that. You feel like they can probably, you know, lose some of their authenticity, but I feel like I, I taste some culture in this taco. Oh yeah, compared to all the other tacos we had today, this can be out on the portions. I'm gonna rate this taco a seven. It's solid. The flavor's popping, the tortilla's good, and we love ourselves some Danny Trejos. All right, you guys, Tito's Tacos. I used to live by this taco shop, and I drove by it every single day. There was always an extremely, 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 extremely long line. Um, so I never went back in the day. I've never ever been, even though I lived one minute down the street from it. This cheese makes me, it doesn't make me nervous. It looks amazing, but it looks like tacos that I would make. It looks like tacos that I could get from Taco Bell. So I don't understand what the hype is, but maybe when I take a bite, we'll be able to see. Here we go. Cheers. It's a... Taco Bell taco, or it's a taco that you make at your house on Taco Tuesday when you're trying to save some money and you don't go out so you make your own tacos. The beef has a decent flavor, but nothing crazy. Then you just have shredded lettuce and cold hard cheese. Maybe I would like it if it's like gooey cheese, but it's just cold cheese. That I don't understand. And these tacos were expensive. For two tacos, it's like $8. They're good if you want a fun, quick snack, but honestly, they're not like the best tacos in LA. Let me dip it in some salsa. Let's try that. Mm -mm. No. I honestly don't understand. People wait 30, 40 minutes for this taco. It'd be better if I had a couple of cocktails and forgot what it tastes like and I just needed to soak up the alcohol. I have to give this taco, after all the tacos we ate, it's like a four. It's one of those like things that you pick up last minute, but by no means is it the best taco in LA. I actually used to work at Jalapeno Pete's. Now Jalapeno Pete's is not an authentic Mexican restaurant by any means. It is a place where you go to drink. They have buy one, get one drinks. And then they also have 
good tacos for people that like to drink. I want to definitely always give an option for the vegans out there and the vegetarians. And Jalapeno Pete's actually has two tacos. They have a fried avocado taco. Um, it is vegetarian, but if you just take off the crema fresca, which is basically like a sour cream, then it is vegan. It's really good. Let's go ahead and give it a bite. The fried avocado is fried, it's crispy, and then you get that soft taco, which is really nice, and the pico de gallo on top. So it's really nice, you get this crunchy flavor. It's really good. The butternut squash taco comes with an aguacatilla sauce, mushrooms, and then butternut squash. Mm. I love it so much because the butternut squash just mushes in your mouth. I hate hard butternut squash. I want it to be soft and chewy. And you got the mushrooms in there. I would do without the mushrooms just because I'm not a mushroom fan. But again, that is an awesome vegan option. And then I have to save the best for last. This is my favorite taco. When I worked at Jalapeno Pete's, I ate their short rib taco every single day. They marinate their meat overnight. Wow. It's so juicy. When you take a bite of it, the juice is just squeezed in your mouth. And the meat is so flavorful, man. And the, the crazy thing is, it's just the short rib on there and pico de gallo. And that's all you need because it's so delicious. This is the best tacos in LA, no, but it's nostalgic for me. So I give all of these tacos, okay, if I'm honestly rating them, the short rib for sure gets like a nine. The other two vegan options, I would say an eight. So that pretty much wraps up our day. My top three places is Tacos y Brilla. Amazing. Mariscos Jaliscos, that shrimp taco comes in second. Bam, that was good. And in third place, whew. In third place, I have to say Carnitas El Momo. Man, those Carnitas tacos were so good. We made it. And now I need to get out of here before I get eaten alive. All right, Jackie out. Bye.